Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll learn how to deploy and run a React application using Docker. We'll cover everything from the installation of the Docker, setting up a Vite React application, writing a Docker file, and finally running your React application in a container. So let's get started. To begin with, let's now install the Docker. If you have already installed the Docker, please feel free to skip this part. Otherwise, let's quickly go over and get to know how to install the Docker in the system. First, head over to the Docker official site. I have already provided in the description or the comment section. You can go from over there also. And download the Docker desktop. Make sure you downloaded the correct version of your operating system, whether it is Windows, Mac OS, or the Linux. Once downloaded, follow the instruction of the installations. On Windows, you will need to enable WSL2. For Mac OS, it's pretty straightforward. For Linux, you can install it via the terminal using the package manager. So, let's wait for the installation. After the installation, open the do do Docker desktop and make sure it's running. To confirm whether it's properly installed, open the terminal or the command prompt and just type docker space hyphen hyphen version. If you are seeing the particular number of the version, you have already installed the docker successfully. Now the docker is being installed, let's move on to setting up of a basic react application. For now, I'll be using the Vite React. You can use either Vite or a typical create react app. In any case, the process will be the same. Now that we have our React app up and running, it's time to dockerize it. Let's go step by step and know how to create a docker file and run our React app inside a docker container. In the root of your project folder, create a new file called docker file. Make sure the D should be in capital. Inside the docker file, let's add the necessary instructions to build and run our React app in the docker. So the first command will be from node version which sets up the node.js version 20 as the base of our container. Anyhow, you can use any of the node.js version whichever you are using in your project. Next, we have a working directory which creates and sets the working directory where all subsequent command will be executed. Then we use copy package.json to copy the package.json file and the package log.json files into the working directory followed by run command where we'll be installing and all the project dependencies. After that, copy dot space dot transfer the rest of your application files into the container. Then we run npm run build to build the React application for production. Next, we globally install and serve the use serve the packages using the run command npm install hyphen g which means globally and serve which will serve the app. After that. The command expose 3000 ensures that port is port number 3000 is open, allowing us to access the app outside the container. Finally, the cmd command which has in included like serve, hyphen s, dist folder and the list and the 3000 port starts the server serving the production build and the dist directory on the port number 3000. By the way, you can use any of the port number rather than 3000. like dot git ignore file let's create a dot docker ignore file to make sure unnecessary files won't get copied into the docker image to do so inside the dot docker image ignore file add the following folders or files one is node underscore modules next dist and the third one env is optional this prevents node module folder and the dist folder from being copied into the image since docker will handle those for us now let's build the docker image. In your terminal, make sure you are in the root of your project and run the following commands. First one will be the build command. This will build the docker image for our react app using the instructions provided in the docker file. 
once after it's completed we can verify whether the images are being showed in the list so to do so you can use the command docker images once the once the images is built we can run the container run this command to start the container and map the port to 3000 on your machine to port 3000 in the container now if you open your browser and go to localhost 3000 you will see your react app running inside the docker even if i delete my node modules the command rm rf and i be giving my node modules name and if i'll delete right now and if i run the same build or run command again you can see it's still able to run in my browser and that's it we have successfully deployed and run a react app using docker we went from the installation of the docker setting up a react app creating a docker file and finally running the app in the container docker makes it easy to package and ship application constantly across the different environments if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more web development tutorials don't forget to hit the bell icon so in case if you never miss any updates if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below or ping me through the linkedin thank you for watching i'll see you around in the next video